Hello friends to my Photoshop tutorial. In this lesson I will be showing you how I crop out images with frizzy or curly hair in Photoshop. So let's begin. First I'm going to open up my image in Photoshop. And I'm going to check the image size. So I'm going to click image and the drop down box I'm going to go to image size and I want to raise the pixels to 200 if your pixels is already if your resolution is already at 200 or 300 at a high number uh, you can go ahead and leave it alone or unless the size of the picture is small then you might want to change the size to a decent size to at least 12 inches either width or height but make sure that the link is still clicked I'm going to change the resolution to 200 and click OK and what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go to the fourth tool down to the object selection tool which up here at the top, the object selection toolbar will open up and I'm going to click on select subject. And what this will do is make a pretty decent selection of your image. I see there's a couple of areas that need to be taken care of. so. What I'm going to do is use my lasso tool and I'm going to zoom in on my picture and I believe that's part of the fur coat but this area here I'm going to hold shift and just trace this area in so now that area is selected and I'm just going to go around the image. And everything looks pretty good. Just make sure I get that hair. And that looks good. And get her heel in. And that looks good. Zoom out a little bit. And now that I'm on my lasso tool or any of my selection tools, I'm going to have the marquee tool or the quick, quick selection tool. You're going to always have this button here, select mask. And then click on that. It's going to open up a new window. And the first thing that I want to do is take care of this frizzy hair. I'm gonna zoom in. Uh, what I want is the entire picture. So I'm gonna put this on 180 down here at the bottom corner. Hit enter. Now I got everything in one screen. And now I'm going to choose the second tool on the left hand side and I want my the size of my brush about this size I don't want it to be too big and I don't want it to be too small because what this tool is going to do is fade the hair and the background out. I'm going to put my spacing to about 25%. My hardness is at 100% uh, depending on how you want your design to look. You want to adjust it accordingly. So these are, are my settings that it works best for me. 
I'm going to click over here to remove that dial, that box. And what I'm going to do is in one click from the start of her hair, and I'm going to go all the way around to one end and one click stroke. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And as you can see, Photoshop is separating the background. Uh -oh. That's my place. Should be fine. And I'm trying to get all the hair. Now, over here in the Properties tab, on the right-hand side, we can change it from black to white, or any other, what works best for you. I like to work on black and white, and it looks really good on white, but if I was to put it on a black background, I can see there's some areas that need to be touched up, so I'm going to just touch on those areas that looks good now for the rest of the, the image she does have a fur coat on but there's some areas that does need to be smoothed out so what I'm going to do I'm going to find an area that I want to focus on I kind of want to keep it a little jagged because of the fur coat I'm going to nudge this up to 14. That looks pretty good. This area here, I might bring it up just a little bit more. And this is going to affect the edge all around your image. Now, I do want to soften that edge up. I don't want it to be a clean cut all the way around. So I will feather the edge just a little bit. That looks good. And then bring out the contrast on that edge. A tad bit. Ghosting around the edge, so probably a little ghosting around the hair as well. So I'm going to shift the edge negatively. Uh, that's good. Now to help clean up this area, I'm going to scroll down to my output setting, and I'm going to click on decontaminate. Photoshop does a pretty good job of cleaning that up for me. And on the output too, I'm going to make sure it says new layer with layer mask. And that's my image. I like the way it looks. And I'm going to click OK. So now it removed from the background and made a second copy the original and this is your copy now from here if you wanted to just drag this image to wherever you want to work onto another tab you can do so but if this is for a later project and you're just doing your cropping what you want to do now is click control or hold control and click on the layer mask and what this will do is put a selection all the way around your image and the reason why we want to do that is because 
I want to get rid of this negative space, this extra room around the image. So I'm going to come down to my crop tool, which is the fifth tool down. And when I click on it while it's selected, the crop tool is going to automatically come to the border of my selection. I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. Hit enter again. And now that negative space is gone. And I'm going to go ahead and export it. I'm going to save for web. And this is going to take a few seconds. Now my image is here ready set to be saved. Now what I do want to mention is make sure that when your output setting on images that you've cropped out you want to make sure that you're not on JPEG because JPEG will put a white background behind your image and you'll have to recrop it again when you go to use it in your project so make sure you're on PNG 24 transparency is checked everything looks good I'm going to click save and you save this to your folder or to wherever you you want to save to for later to use I'm going to click save it's going to my desktop this dialog box should close and I no longer need this project, so I'm going to click close on it. I need to save. And here is my image. Cropped out from the background with her hair intact. I would like to thank you for watching. And I hope you learned something new. Subscribe to the channel because I have more lessons on the way.